Yes, several times on YouTube on how I made the inserts for these bicycle uh, blades. <coughs> so here's one that I've had around for a while. That uh, I'll show you. This isn't really a bicycle wheel that I would use because it's a back wheel. You can't take it all apart, put a straight axle through there. But normally the spacing is a little different on the, on the uh, back wheel bicycle. The spacing is a little different. I have used, what I've used is uh, recycled campaign signs, construction signs that you've seen in the yard there, the uh, corrugated plastic. I uh, happened to, this is a garage sale sign I bought at Walmart, and I think it was like three bucks. And uh, it's the plastic corrugation. Uh, looks like cardboard if you look at it from the end. So, what I do is, my first step is I uh, measure the distance between. One and three quarters to one inch. So uh, you can see there's there's different spacings on the back wheel for some reason compared to a bicycle rim front rim. It's real easy to cut. See if I can get this to focus in. So it uh, looks like cardboard on the end. When I tried to started editing this video, I found that I had uh, not gotten all the footage that I wanted to. So let's try to finish this up, and uh, hopefully uh, you'll be able to see what I did. If not, then you can uh, IM me again, and I'll try to answer any questions. So I drilled a hole in each corner of that little plastic, and then I used a little nylon tie. To tie it to the spokes and those have held up really good for me so I haven't had any very many break or anything so that uh, hopefully that'll answer the question on what I use to fill in the spokes